Welcome to another Healthy Indoors Minute. We're about to go to the International Builder Show and teach a workshop at the Georgia Pacific booth, and I know I'm gonna get the question, why are we air tightening these homes so that we can install ventilation equipment that costs money and all of this is getting out of hand. We should just go back to where we used to open windows like normal people. Well, here is why that makes no sense. As a theory, very nice. But in reality, maybe there are things going on outside that you don't want allowed into your house. For example, wildfires, which we're having more and more of around the world. Number two, we have a house in our street that uh, when you drive up the hill, your headlights shine right into all the windows in the front of the house. So not only do they have their windows closed, they have their blinds drawn blackout style all the time. And yet another example is this house, hold for an airplane. We are five minutes from the busiest airport in the world here in Atlanta. Do you think people who live next to the airport here or anywhere else in the world like to have their windows open and have to stop their conversations every few minutes for a plane going overhead? No, those people are not going to be opening their windows. They are going to be closing their windows. A house like this behind me is built to be able to work perfectly if all of the windows and doors are closed. If you want to open a window because it's a nice day outside and you like the birds chirping, great. But we are not depending on that to have the air inside be healthy. This is yet another example of why we need to be focused so entirely on making sure that we have the proper ventilation because not only are houses getting air tighter normally because of codes, but we also have things like noise abatement programs around airports that pay for these air sealing and insulation improvements to be done on houses around airports. So next time you're driving by the neighborhood near your local airport, think about the fact that all the people in there are closing themselves in and making the houses airtight and as intentionally possible to keep what you're not thinking of outside, which is the noise or the pollution or whatever else is going on outdoors. And of course, the climate is changing now. We don't know what the weather's gonna be like in 50 years. So make sure that you're paying attention to tuning your indoor physics and your indoor chemistry because we cannot depend on just opening windows. Subscribe to Healthy Indoors Magazine as well. Comment, like, subscribe. Tune in next time.